Ducati has just revamped its museum at the factory in Bologna. On our very last day there, we were lucky enough to be among the first people to walk through it. And what a treat that was. From bikes that were winning before my time, through Paul Smart's Green Frame Racer, all the way up to Troy Bayliss and Casey Stoner's World Championship winning bikes, there's so much to drool over. The new museum covers race bikes and road bikes, and even the radios that take us way back to the beginning of Ducati's 90 year history. I had my special moments. I still can't believe that the very first test bike I ever rode as a cadet journalist on a bike magazine was this one, an 851 Superbike. I went to the world launch of the luscious 916 and was astounded at just how much better it was than anything else on the road at the time. It's still one of the best looking motorcycles ever built. Looking at these older superbikes made me reflect on the fact that I could feel the same unmistakable Ducati DNA in the Multistrada Enduro that I've just toured on. Every display is thoughtfully designed, and many are flanked and backed by additional information. I reckon everyone bar the most well-read Ducatisti will learn something new here. You can do a virtual tour of the museum on Ducati's website, but if you're in Italy, you have to see the real thing. It's small but full, and as much an art gallery as it is a museum.